Welcome to our channel. Lots of summaries of interesting films. Keep it updated. Press subscribe and turn on notifications. To support us, you can like and share our videos. Enjoy watching. A group of scientists led by Dr. Michael Morbius arrives at a cave in Costa Rica. Morbius approaches the cave's entrance, cuts his hand, and holds it out as a horde of bats fly out, attracted to his blood. The remaining men return to their helicopter. We show a young Michael living under the care of Dr. Emil Nicholas in Greece 25 years ago, while Michael suffers from a blood disorder. The facility where they are staying welcomes another youngster with the same sickness, Lucian, but Michael refers to him as Milo because the previous child there was named that. Milo's machine begins to fade after some chit chat, and he passes out. Michael repairs the contraption and resurrects Milo with a spring from a ballpoint pen. Nicholas is taken aback by this duty. Milo is later bullied by other children who mock him for his disability and kick him while he is down. Back in the present, Morbius is nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize in Sweden, but he declines and continues his job. He is treating Anna, a little girl who has the same disease as him. Morbius works with his girlfriend, Dr. Martine Bancroft, who believes he is overworking himself. Milo is also reported to be the benefactor behind their research of combining bat DNA with human blood, which Morbius believes would heal his condition. For the endeavor, he recovered the bats from the cave. He administers his serum to a lab rat, which appears to die, Anna begins to have a seizure moments later, but Morbius is able to treat her before she has a stroke. Martine returns to the lab and notices that the rat has been awakened and is moving, indicating that Morbius' serum was successful. Morbius travels to meet with Milo and Nicholas in order to obtain further funds for his research aboard a ship in international seas. Milo has been in Nicholas' care since he was a youngster. Morbius and Milo have grown close, but Morbius insists that Milo assist him as quickly as possible before it's too late for both of them. Morbius collects Martine and the rest of the crew on a ship for the next part of his experiment, in which Martine will deliver the serum to Morbius. Martine is harassed by a grumpy crew member after the surgery when they realize Morbius has broken free from the restraints on his chair. Morbius assaults the man after they find him crawling on the ceiling. Other mercenaries arrive, and Morbius, who has now transformed into a vampiric monster, assaults them all and consumes their blood. Martine is knocked unconscious during the scuffle, and as Morbius regains his humanity, he views CCTV footage of himself attacking the guys. FBI agent Simon Stroud and Al Rodriguez are assigned to the crime scene investigation. Morbius has left after phoning in the Mayday response. But Martine has been discovered alive. Milo and Nicholas become aware of the occurrence as well. Morbius isolates himself in his laboratory to further his understanding of his new condition, while also feeding on blood samples to satisfy his hunger. He begins to hone his new bat like abilities, flying, super speed, and strength quicker reflexes, and the bats in his lab recognize him as their leader. Milo later finds him just as he begins to relapse into his monstrous state, but Milo assists him in regaining control. Milo wants some of the serum after learning that it has helped cure Morbius' disease, but Morbius refuses because he knows the consequences would be disastrous. Morbius later visits Martine in the hospital to see how she is doing. A vampire monster attacks and kills a nurse, but it is not Morbius. Stroud and Rodriguez appear to question Morbius just as he learns of this, prompting him to flee, but he is quickly apprehended and taken to a detention center. Morbius is questioned in his cell by Stroud and Rodriguez before being visited by Milo. Morbius realizes Milo took the serum for himself and killed the nurse after Milo leaves his cane behind. Morbius transforms into a vampire and escapes the facility, then witnesses Milo transform into a vampire and murder a man at a newsstand. Milo attempts to persuade Morbius to join him so that they can give in to their newfound powers and urges. He pursues Milo into the subway, where they both fly and crash in front of other passengers. When the cops arrive to arrest Milo, he slaughters them all. Milo tries to apprehend Morbius, but he escapes through the tunnels. Morbius finds Martine after she is released from the hospital and tells her about his condition and how he must keep it under control before succumbing to his bloodlust like Milo. He later discovers another lab run by counterfeiters and scares them away in order to continue working and develop a compound that will kill him in order to undo his vampirism. 
Milo walks out to a nightclub and runs into an aggressive man. He then pursues the man and his pals down an alley, killing them all. Later, he sees Morbius working with Martine and watching them kiss, and he realizes he has discovered a flaw in his brother. When Stroud and Rodriguez discover the bodies of the clubgoers, they notice Milo's face on security film, which convinces them that Morbius is not their assailant. Nicholas rushes to meet Milo after hearing about it on the news, but Milo counters that Nicholas has always regarded Morbius as the favorite son. He strikes Nicholas and seriously injures him. Morbius meets with Martin again, but this time he is informed of what occurred with Nicholas. He rushes over to be by his side as he passes away. Milo, who has kidnapped Martin, later calls him. Morbius catches up to her, but Milo injures her badly. Martin lets him suck her blood in order for him to go after Milo, but a drop of his own blood slips into her mouth. As he approaches Milo, Morbius grows in strength that he calls his bats and uses them to encircle Milo, allowing him to approach his brother and inject the compound into him. Milo is about to pass away when he recalls that Morbius gave him his name. As his brother dies, Morbius remains at his side. Martine appears to reawaken as a vampire, while Morbius flies out into the darkness.